Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ATLQ Lab. So guys, uh, today we will look at one of the very important uh, uh, checks that we perform in ETL testing, right? So ETL checks that we perform is basically called data type checks. All right, data type checks, right? And this is what we perform, right? So uh, we will discuss basically what is this data type checks and all those things. Uh, but what exactly we do basically this kind of checks we perform it manually one by one right so either we go to log into your database or we look at your file or we kind of go to the ETL process and we check it generally we do all of these checks using uh, you know uh, manually right but now in this video we will try to see how we can actually automate this entire process right so that irrespective of number of columns in a file are in a database or number of source systems you can actually do this automation right and it can actually uh, avoid the manual error as well right sometimes we actually miss few things when we validate manually and that also creates a problem basically right that slips the bug right uh, into the uh, higher environment right so those are the things that we basically try to see now in this video we will try to understand first uh, agenda is basically uh, basically we'll try to understand what is basically uh, data type checks right what is data type checks and then second how we can actually automate all right these two things we will understand okay so let's uh, move ahead right so first before understanding data type we will try to understand one particular etl particular etl flow right so let's say i have a file which is my source let's say here maybe i have uh, employee dot csv okay so this is my source guys yeah this is my source and then i will say this is my target okay i'm not taking too complex like other uh, staging in other area i'm just taking it very very simple scenario for now okay so for example this is my source and target and here let's say employee number employee name all right and here is department number and here is salary for example okay similar thing is here as well employee number employee name and then department number and then salary guys okay now for example let's say i have one two three three employees here and name is a b c and here department is 10 20 30 for example and salary is 10k uh, 100k 200k something like this 300k all right guys this is my data okay now uh, when I say the data type checks, right? So now here, if you look at it, employee number is basically number. Employee name is basically it's a it's a string data type. In pandas, we call it basically the uh, I mean we can consider it as an object, right? Object data type. Department number again, uh, you know it it is again integer. Uh, and then salary can be maybe decimal, then it's float, right? So something like this. All of these are the different data types, right? Now when i load this data into my target right i should be exactly having the same data type right exactly i should be having the same data type what my source is having right so this is what exactly the check normally we do it and in this case we will try to see how we can actually automate this process okay so let's try to do one thing so this is uh, ho hopefully the scenario is clear for you right because here if it is number integer right here also i expect integer after loading data right and this is what is basically the data type checks right now uh, i will show you the actual file also and then we will when we will write the code we can actually see entire thing but first try to understand what is basically data type checks right so exactly my each of these columns right should be having the same data type basically employee number should be having the employee number this as an integer then employee name maybe it is object and this should also be object salary is float and then salary should be float in my target as well okay so this is what exactly the check that we are going to do now think about the normal scenario how we do it now right so what we can do basically we can uh, if we have two files what we can do basically we can go and open the file and check what kind of data it is which is very cumbersome and sometime we actually make lot of mistakes right and that is the reason the automation comes handy here right and this is what the whole idea about how to automate using python pandas right 
so uh, let's try to one thing let's try directly going to the uh, jupiter node and try to see what exactly we want to actually achieve and how we exactly we want to look at this okay so for example we are here and what we want to do is basically um, try to see those two files i have two files already okay um, uh, let's try to import those files okay so import pandas right so i have source and target two files i want to just verify between source and target i'll show you what is source and what is target so i have to write the basic thing first right so, um, import pandas as pd and then i'll go to the next line i will say source this is my data frame and then i'll say pd dot read csv and i have file name called employee dot csv okay and the same location guys okay and i have another file which is basically the target as well so i will just show you uh, i'm just copying pasting here first and this basically is called target okay now let me just show you what exactly source contains and what exactly so this is my source if you look at this is my source data okay source data is basically you know uh, employee number employee name department number salary and data is like this okay let me try to show you what is my target basically consist of okay so target is here now if you look at it here right this is my target but if you look at department number here is 10 20 10 something like this but here it is completely different right it is basically uh, coming a different data type basically right so how do we ensure that exactly the same data type is there in source and target because this is obviously wrong department number here 10 it should ideally be populated at 10 but it is populated at it correct so how do we basically check what is the data type of department number here and here right so ideally when i do the data type comparison checks now since these are only few three four columns right it is easy for you to actually check it but in um, in scenarios where we have let's say such a uh, kind of uh, uh, like uh, big tables like fact and dimension tables where we have kind of 500 600 columns it is not possible for you to actually go and manually verify right that's where this automation comes into play right and now let's try to see how we can automate now we clearly know that employee number employee name this should be matching exactly same department number should not be matching between source and target okay and then salary should also be matching exactly same so i should be actually when my script finished it should be able to tell me the difference between difference in the data type between source and target okay okay now let's try to basically uh, go to the next okay and try to okay go here <clears throat> all right what we will do is uh, let me okay so since i have already imported the source and target i already have it let me just quickly um, just remove this so that you know i can just write a script basically <clears throat> sorry now what i want to do is i want to basically check hmm, uh, first of all let me show you uh, basically how what kind of data type my source department number and what type of data type so i will say src and then i will say um, dept number this is and then d types okay if i just run it i see it is showing integers int 64 which is integer okay now if I can actually check what is my target we have looked at it right because my target was uh, holding some IT and all those kind of values right let me try to just copy paste and just change it basically simple TGT and I want to check what is the data type of department number now you see O data type O right which means in my target this is basically object type object type right all right uh, let me request okay, take overflow not i think this is something remove it not required okay okay so this is what exactly and if i show you one more column maybe employee number and employee number it should be exactly same isn't it so it is showing float 64 now let me check 
this is also float 64 which means these are fine right so department number is basically that should uh, that is the mismatch in the data type right that I should be actually getting it right so now let's try to let me just uh, clean this first and then write a script here basically so what exactly I want to write here is I want to basically compare uh, each of the data type of each of the column in source versus my target right and then how do we write it basically we can use a simple for loop guys here like I will just take column in I will say CR, uh, src dot columns right this dot columns will give me basically um, will give me all the column names right now I will compare where whether my src of column okay of data types okay what I'm going to do I'm going to take each of this column right each of this column uh, okay one second data type yeah data type uh, each of my um, source column uh, data type should be exactly same as my target so I can actually simply copy it as well and I can simply put it here and just replace with target okay if it is not matching exactly the data type is not matching between my source and target right in that case I want to just display it basically right so what I'm going to say I'm going to say if it is not matching in this case print me something so what I want it to print I want to say here maybe data type mismatch for okay uh, I will say here for column for what column basically uh, for for what, this column okay and then I want to also display what is the data type in source and target no so I have to say between between source uh, in my source what is the data type right now is basically that is what I want to just take it from here copy paste basically all right uh, this uh, okay and target target okay source and target now I want to just make it TGT okay now what it is saying is basically if it is not matching the data type between each of this column between source and target is not matching in that case I am going to display this otherwise I am not going to display anything okay or maybe I can say okay this is fine I think no need to do anything about it let's try to run this and see what exactly I am getting okay now if I run it see it is showing me output data type mismatch for department number between source so it is showing in source it is integer 64 in my target it is object do you see it so this is the thing basically I wanted to show you right so it this script will work for any uh, two different files where you want to actually compare the data type of the column basically but the the thing is in both the both the uh, kind of files like source and target or whatever two files you are comparing both need to have the kind of uh, both need to have the same column name then only it will work guys right so this is what exactly I wanted to show you uh, like how it works and uh, so uh, like you have let's say multiple source multiple targets or multiple different different files and you want to really compare the data type of each of this column just to ensure that you know everything is correct in terms of uh, data mapping and uh, in ATL pipeline processing then this is the uh, script that you can use it basically right now this is just uh, I showed you some demo right kind of you can do this kind of checks basically but these are not only uh, kind of um, uh, one way you can also basically the use the same, same script and you can actually put into your um, you know PyCharm you can create uh, you know Python uh, script and you can run it on demand whenever you want basically right so uh, this is the checks that I wanted to cover as part of this video and guys if you want to basically learn the entire Python automation I am I have a good news for you 
I am going to start uh, the complete series basically where you will be learning from very basic it doesn't need any prerequisite of Python nothing basically it just basically we will be starting from very basic about the ETL concept then Python then we'll be using this pandas module to do various checks right and we will be covering end-to-end -end automation of the Python basically right so it's going to be one and a half month longer course right and that we are actually going to start from um, from 22nd of July right and uh, if you are interested uh, uh, you can basically uh, reach out to us right I'll be putting a Google form basically there um, where and you can show your interest if you are interested to learn this uh, uh, entire automation step by step basically right then you are welcome and you can actually enroll for the course guys okay all right so that's all for this video i hope that this has added some knowledge to your um, kind of uh, uh, skill right and uh, i'll see you soon with the next video guys until then happy learning god bless you bye